Good job, are you ready? Hey. Hey everyone, it's me QP83. And Barbie0913. And little Lexi is here, little hanging Lexi. out with us as we do our most, our, uh, our haul video. Yeah? So we went to the, um, what's it called now? The Kane, Kane County, County Doll Show. It's like a spin-off of the Naperville Doll mm -hmm. Show, but on the Kane County Fairgrounds. So we've gone for, I think it's been, what, now a year and a half that they've been doing this? That they brought it back? Yeah. Yeah. So we've gone to this show before. It's always an interesting show. It's always kind of different. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to show off what we picked up at the show and kind of talk about it. But because I didn't pick up that much from the show, I'm just going to show what I ended up getting from Savers within the past couple weeks. Yeah. When we, she did buy stuff did. at the show, but it's, we both left with very few items. I so. was really looking forward. I needed a dolly vacation. Yes. Um, but I picked up a couple things. I happened to find them on half price at Savers. Kusas. Somehow, some reason, kusas are showing up at Savers all the time now. And they were by the people that made Cabbage Patch Kids. Oh, I figured everybody knew that. Yeah, I had just in case. Also at the Savers store, I was able to find, I think it's, I think it's a Disney store toddler, Elsa. She's not the animator, as I was told. She does have these blue legs on her, but um, found a little outfit that one of the Shirley's wasn't wearing and it fits her okay. And she got all cleaned up, so I like her. She looks cute. And, and then, finally. and finally from uh, Savers, all, um, all of them bought on the half price day, I found an Allen. He has a little bit of mark here. Uh, he was wearing a different outfit. He was wearing a Netherlands outfit, I think, the Holland outfit. Holland. Part of the Holland outfit, at least. And I had this that I had gotten at an estate sale, I think a year ago now, um, and put it on him, and he looks good. He just doesn't have his skis. He's, He's ready very to go. happy, and he was half. He's in good shape. Yep, he was. Okay. So this brings us to the King County Doll Show. King County Doll Show! Woo! This is actually like this, we have this, they had this one this month, and then like. There's one next month, the Chicago the Toy Show. <laughs> so this is going to be like quite a doll show filled couple of months. And Star Wars 2. Yeah, Star Wars Celebration in is in between all of that. Oy. <laughs> so pray that we win the lottery <laughs> <laughs> and aren't like poor for the rest of the year. Um, so anyways, Kane County Doll Show. It's at the Kane County Fairgrounds. Um, it's twice a year. And you can do the Naperville one as well, which means four times a year. Mm -hmm. It's usually the same-ish vendors. Yep. So this year it was very, or the show rather, was very like bisque. It was. It was heavy on bisque. Lots of bisque. Lots of antiques. Mm -hmm. Lots of bisque. Lots of like mm -hmm. outfitters. So like you have like clothing and like fabric options. Which is nice. All the different little things you could add or if you needed remnants to make an outfit for your dolls. Mm -hmm. It was um, a lot of nice stuff. Wigs, yeah. shoes, hats. Yeah, but a lot of this. Like, a if lot. you are not an antique collector, this show would probably not have been your favorite. Less on the 50s, 60s kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. They had some Barbie vendors, but they, they had more than usual, but also, like, the ones they had were a little pricey, so it wasn't like they had the budget Barbie vendors. Or when I wanted to buy a nice, long-haired um, uh, red... Stacy, red hair Stacy. I couldn't really afford the one mm -hmm. they had there. It was over two hundred dollars. Yeah, and they only had one. Yeah, it was kind of weird. Even I was kind of on the lookout for like a long haired twist and turn skipper, but mm -hmm. unless there was one in the box that like desperately seeking that I didn't care to look for because she's too expensive, I uh, I just I didn't see any. There were no options there. So there were some Barbie people, but it was like the more pricey Barbie people. We also had only one vendor for Reborn, and the last time they had it, they had three vendors for Reborn babies. Yeah. I was surprised there was only one. Yeah. So that was, I mean, it was kind of interesting seeing what mm -hmm. people brought and seeing that it was mostly the old stuff. Uh, so for us, we went through at like one round, and like mm -hmm. there wasn't a ton that was calling our name. We did you know, a lot of talking, though. Talking yeah. to people. That like some of the the vendors were actually like super, uh, super talkative. Mm -hmm. uh, they they were sharing stories about where they got their mm -hmm. items. 
uh, like who it belonged to. Like this one booth, I swear everything had a story. Like, oh, this yeah. belonged to one of our family members in England, and when this person passed away, we got the dolls, or this one yeah. was created by someone in our doll club who passed away, and now we're, you know, here with her doll. It's nice to have <laughs> stories with your dolls. Right. Or this is my friend who, yeah. you know, had cancer and passed away, and this is her doll. Yeah. <laughs> so that's, like, I think it's really nice when a doll mm -hmm. does have a story, because they think about it, some of these have been around, you know, since, like, the 1800s, you know? Like, they dolls can be around for such a long time. Right. And keep them in good shape, and they all, like, think of everything they've seen. Crazy. And it also makes sense that those dolls, there were a lot of them there because we need a new generation of caretakers that are going to take mm -hmm. those dolls and give them homes. Yeah, and it's always yeah. fun to know the story of right. the doll like before you owned it. Yeah. I don't know, but it was fun. Um, I guess we will. I will start off with my first purchase of the day. As usual, the American Girl vendor type people were there and um, what else? A lot of mm. people that had... Um, discounted booths too. Yeah. Yeah. So this was um, per my first purchase. This is a technically like it was tagged Madame Alexander Cinderella. I really like the face and it was from one of the vendors who like we know personally so she gave me a good deal on it. I just think she's really cute. As I said she was tagged Madame Alexander Cinderella but in reality, she's an hour and beast. She Cinderella. looks like an hour and <laughs> In a Madame Alexander dress. Yeah. So that's somewhat disappointing, but thankfully the price that they quoted me was more more reasonable for an R and B than mm -hmm. a Madame Alexander. So I didn't end up paying too much money for what this is. Plus, I love the R and B face. And they have the same pretty hair like Alexander yeah. does. It's just really pretty. And Definite I, parts and stuff. It's styled. The crown's replaced. Obviously, the dress is Madame Alexander. But she's in good shape, and she looks pretty. And she's like the face. I just love she the is. face she of an RV. She is. And you don't always get to see really good examples of those. Like, sometimes people are like, oh, it's just r and It's not Madame Alexander. Yeah, I don't know why they like, say that. Because the skaters are adorable. Right. The bobby soxers. I know, and they're more affordable than a Madame Alexander right. would be. And she's a nice size, too. Exactly. So whether or not, you know, like, it, it's somewhat disappointing that, like, the vendor didn't know that it wasn't. But I also, like, we also were like, we probably should have known we that wasn't known Madame Alexander wasn't face. Already. Yeah. But, like, this face is just so cute. Mm -hmm. It always gets me. And she's in good shape, and she will be a nice, uh, a nice mm -hmm. addition to my hard plastic collection. She will be. She's so good. that was my first purchase. Well, since nothing was talking to me, and I thought, Ooh, buy me, buy, buy me, me, buy me, Patty, buy me, buy me, <laughs> buy me. Um, I decided I needed a few things for my bisque doll since there were lots of vendors who had things. So I needed a wig because her wig was threadbare. And then I saw some clothing and um, got her an outfit. Now she just needs shoes. Um, I prefer her as a brunette, but they didn't have the wig in a brunette, so she's going to be a blonde now. It's a starter wig. You yeah, can always it's a buy starter another. wig. I know, and it's a mohair wig, and this nice little outfit too, that is kind of more. I love this. I should have. You like the poofy. She <laughs> likes the poofy it. part. <laughs> but I, I'm used to seeing her as a brunette, so eventually, hopefully, I'll just find another reasonably priced brunette wig but this is yeah. nice because it's like she has her own wig now mm -hmm. and it's not you can't just see light through it no so I got both of those at two different vendors yeah that was uh those are really nice I really like the wig you're right yeah. I'm used to seeing her as brunette as well yeah. but it's still a really nice wig and then she needs well the dress goes with the one the earring, one earring. She, she has it's she a fashion choice earring. it is a fashion, a fashion choice. choice so now she's playing she's hoity-toity so this is from Gigi's booth. So Gigi's is a doll shop in mm -hmm. Chicago. And they we went around the first time and they didn't have her out. And then the second time there were two Corins out there just like hanging out. And I was like, I didn't see those before. Cause I always look for Corins mm -hmm. because they're so hard to find like in person. So I got the Corin. Uh, and I picked this one up and then I was gonna look at the other one But someone like snatched it up like right as I took this one So I'm thinking that that person was probably like no 
have to grab it before she takes both of them. Mm -hmm. uh, so I picked this up because I always liked this one on mm -hmm. eBay. It She's been on my one. like list for like my watch list for years at this point. I love the skirt. I love the hair. I love the face. And she's articulated, so yay. yeah. So this was uh, this was an exciting find. It was priced a lot higher than I would have liked. Mm. It was more like Walt Disney World pricing, and if you've ever been to Walt oh. Disney World to buy a Corinne, that's like thirty or forty dollars per doll versus the internet, which is more like twenty <laughs> or it used per to be. doll. Yeah. So it was more Walt Disney World pricing than I would have liked, but she was cute. She was there and pretty much sold instantly when I saw her. I wish they would use snaps, though, instead of Velcro on their yeah, dresses. That's true. Oh, is this a collar underneath it? No. I think she has a dress on underneath it. Does she have a dress under it? Oh, how cute. There is a dress under yeah. there. It's just a cute outfit. It's so much fun. Cute. So, I got the cur into there. And then do you have anything else to show off? Um, yep, since I only bought the wig and the outfit, there was a Wanda the Walking Doll there. Wanda. That was really, really affordable and she came with her own uh, box, which I don't need the box. I don't, I don't, I can't really save boxes. Um, and I've seen her a few times. Let's see if you look at her. You can see she has little wheels on her feet and she has a winder. I think she's still pretty much wound, so she yeah. should be okay if I just... Oops, maybe. Oh, is it too slippery for you? Yeah, she's moving. There you go. She needs her outfit. It's gonna get cleaned. Can't do anything about her socks because mm -hmm. you can't take her feet yeah. out of those shoes. The socks aren't that bad, though. No. Well, this needs to be. This, I think, was supposed to be blue because it's oh, that it was under, blue. Yeah. So I'm not quite sure. It's, it did fade to a really strange purple. Purple, it did. I like yeah. the two colored look, though. So that's what Wanda does, in case you've yeah. never, never seen a so Wanda. So you, like, wind it up with a key on her side, and then she has, like, an on and off switch on the other side. Let's see, there's her key. So there's the key, and you wind it up. And then her on and off switch is here. There's another switch over here. Yeah, and then slowly but surely she'll like move forward. And she was really an excellent price. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm happy with what I got. Yeah. She's pretty neat though. From 1950s. Like, yeah. Ooh. Okay, we'll let you down. She's like, but I still have some walking to do. I have some walking to do. I'm walking. I love that her arms go up and down. Yeah, and her head kind of bobs. Give me a nice easy doll that just has something that you turn a wine key in and you don't have to put batteries yeah. in her. I love those kinds. So last but not least, I picked up a uh, BJD from Gigi's booth. She had a whole box of Fairyland BJDs. Uh, so someone sold her an entire collection of them to mm -hmm. her. So this is a Pookie Pookie Ante, Ants, A-N-T-E, Ante, Anta, whatever you want to pronounce it. Just super cute. It has like the elf ears. It's cute. Uh, and a cute little face and little freckles on the mm. nose. Uh, wearing, she's wearing right now just a Barbie top that's tied in the back. I didn't want her to be completely naked. But I'm actually, I've never really played with a Pookie Pookie. Mm -hmm. And like, I like how their body moves, like how their like knees bend and their like elbows bend. Oh, so this is the girl? I thought yeah. you said you were gonna get a boy or that was the bigger one. There was one. the other one, that was the bigger this one. Is it's got the sweetest little face yeah. and green eyes. Uh, it looks like green eyes, yeah. Hazel eyes, adorable. But like the joints move really it fluidly. Does. Like he, she'll pose well. So I'm happy with this. So I guess I have to find a wig, unless I just leave her bald, which might. She is cute bald, She is too. cute bald. She is cute. So we'll see if, I, I can never find wigs that fit this size doll, so most likely she'll probably just stay bald. A little headband. Yeah, that would work. And you know, she'll probably stay in this for Aww. quite some time, because it seems to work. <laughs> so I think this is adorable. And if I didn't have the gift card for Gigi's, I probably wouldn't have splurged on it. She also gave me a decent like discount on it, 
so I thought, why not? It's just too cute. I reminded her about the card. She did remind me I, about the card. We went right back home. We weren't far away. I said, get the card, because the day you don't have the card with you, you're going to see something that you want. Yes. So, yes. I did. And I came home with this cute little pookie pookie. It's adorable. It's so cute. It so, those were my three big buys of the day. And they did have a lot of little bisque dolls this size mm -hmm. that you could just start a tiny collection. You know? Yeah. Cute things. So that was it. That was that was all we picked up. This is a short haul video. Sure. <laughs> Um, cause I don't know if there's even much more to say other than we did see people that we did we see people. Yes. So let's us. see. We'll put this guy down there. All right. So we're going to give shout outs to da, 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 da. I, okay. So we saw Lisa who was there with her family. Mm -hmm. So hopefully you found some fun stuff. Mm -hmm. We also saw Dee and Jill, uh, the sisters. Mm -hmm. the sisters. So they were wandering about, and it was uh, Jill's first like doll show. Yeah. So we hope you guys all had tons of fun and found some amazing things. Not too many amazing things, but yeah, let you know, us know just what you enough. got. <laughs> let us know what you got. Yeah. So let us know what you guys got. So huge shout outs to you guys. It was awesome meeting you. If you ever see us out and about, feel free to stop us. Mm -hmm. We won't run away. Like, <laughs> it's, we're nice, friendly people, so feel yeah. free to stop us. <laughs> um, but that's about it, I think, right? Yeah. It was time to go to a doll show. I really needed to go to a doll show just to see things all around. Yeah. And you get to know all the vendors, especially if you're in this area, and you can go to these shows. Yeah. You get to know everybody. So let us know if you went to the show, what you picked up, um, you know, what you thought of the things that we picked up here in the video. I thought it was interesting that, whoops, her, that, that's scary when her face came <laughs> off. <laughs> I think it was interesting that um, a lot of the purchases she made were from um, area dollhouses that we have here, that uh, one is out of business and one is still in business, but that they were still showing dolls at the show. Yes. It's so, cute. it's so cute. It's so cute. Now I want one. I know. Well, Gigi's has like 10 of them. <laughs> Do the backstroke. So. Seriously, so cute. Adorable. Such a fun little sign. Here, kitty. Not a cat toy. <laughs> a very expensive cat toy. So, no. But let us know what, you know, what your thoughts are. I guess we'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.